Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 18th through the 24th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. got two flies three there's one outside of the window but this one i'm gonna catch because it's annoying that's i think communicating with the one inside and then there's one that's just kind of running around like crazy here um which i'm gonna catch as soon as it stops uh, but let's see, Cancer, while I'm playing with flies, let's see what's going on for you. Oh, Kai is going to catch it, or Juno. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Wands. Um, I'm kind of waiting for something to give here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in this waiting game, but I do see a... a, a a play out of energies and what you're doing or trying to do at least is kind of sit still through them and that's almost looking like you're waiting for something probably for the energies to change um in the recent past the four of cups the empress the devil man there was someone here attached to you which you see as you know State enemy number one for you. Ooh, a lot of disappointment, a lot of looking and possibly recognizing certain traits that were unhealthy attached to this other energy. Maybe it brought some unhealthy things within you uh, to the surface to heal. I don't know. There's definitely something unhealthy here tied up to this other energy. In the current situation, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Tum, tum, tum. there's the energy of hey let's work it out let's start over let's start fresh let's start from scratch and then there's you being like uh-uh nope 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 now i don't know what you're saying physically i see your energy against this let's start from scratch energy that's showing up here in the immediate future, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the World card. Closing something out big time. Yep, something is... I mean, I don't see you necessarily eager to go through this process of closing something out, but it's kind of happening. Want it or not, it's kind of happening. And it's a difficult one. It's not, it's not an easy one. You may choose to close it. You may be the one that says, okay, this is it. That doesn't make it easy, though. You know, especially with the energies that are showing up here. Um, let's see. Let's see the two of wands over there. The eight of wands, the nine of wands, the empress. Yeah, the, their energy, whoever this is tied up to you, their energy is pushing towards you. It's pushing to you. It almost feels like they're the ones that are coming in and kind of trying to to, to rebuild this to, to start from scratch or whatever it is that they're trying to do and you keep on blocking it and i don't know if you're blocking it physically again i see an energetic blockage from you it's like this wall that that's like no i don't know how you interpret that it could be that you're seeing red flags it could be that mm, i don't know you know i don't know I don't know how it's coming out, but there's definitely something that's standing in the way of this energy approaching you, and it is trying. It is trying. Let's do the Four of Cups in the recent past. If there's any communication, it almost feels like you're kind of defensive at times, too. Uh, for the Four of Cups, you get the Star, the Strength card, the King of Wands. You did believe that this was it. 
at some point in time, you did look at this energy and you thought, this is it. This is what I want. This is what I need. This is perfect for me. Until it all turned into disappointment. Kind of like almost disappointed in you that you believed that. Yeah? Which, no. It's okay to believe whatever it is that you want. And it's also okay to change your mind. To be like, no, that's not, no. I was wrong. You know? There's no sense in the disappointing aspect here. Uh, let's do the Empress. I mean, it just creates an energy that's not good for you to carry. Rather than accepting things as they are. You know, yesterday I believed that this was something that I truly wanted. Today, not so much. Was I wrong? Maybe. Let me accept that. You know, we can't be wrong. Um, for the Empress, you get the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Sun. Really, really not trusting this energy. Because it could have shown up in the whole jazz of, no, I'm here to bring you happiness. And I don't see happiness there. I see pain. I see all sorts of other things that are opposite of happiness. So it's hard to trust an energy that shows up in... This is what I want to offer you, and it's happiness. It's called happiness. And their actions, their whatever, create the opposite of that. Um, not that their intentions weren't there of happiness. Definitely there. I don't know what the hell happened that it actually, the whole situation created a lot, a lot of pain and deception. Let's do the devil. Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. It took you a minute. It took you a minute for you to be like, you know what? This is not healthy for me. I got to get myself out of this energy. Um, but it started by you starting to pay attention to yourself a little more and give a little more to yourself. And the minute you started doing that, the energy already kind of started to detach from what was not healthy. It's looking like it wasn't doesn't matter the energies that are coming through underneath, the intentions that are coming through. What matters is what you're actually dealing with. And if you're dealing with the opposite of the intention, not a great energy, you know? Let's do the Seven of Wands in the current situation. Ui, the Tower, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. You're holding yourself in a space of I don't know. Uh, and you're doing that because having to release this, whatever this is to you, having to let it go completely, you don't want that by the looks of it. There's a whole lot of rejection over that as well. So it's like there's two things that are shown up here. One, realizing that this is unhealthy. You got to go, you know, and two, but it's not that easy. I can't go. So you're up there in the middle of these two energies. In the, I don't know. Um, the energy of your detachment has been in place for a while. So I don't see you attached to the situation emotionally anymore. Now it's a matter of the mind. The mind is starting to really fight off all sorts of energies that are playing through um that's what keeps you in the i don't know let's do the ace of pentacles in the current situation seven of swords eight of swords the judgment card yeah the i don't know is here again the i don't know is here again even though you do know your soul knows again you made up your mind a while ago emotionally, energetically. I'm going to be honest, for now it's looking like a mind fuckery. It's, it's looking like it's your mind that's trying to take over and it's not doing a great job. It keeps you in the, into this place of where you probably exhaust yourself and at the end of the day you're like, oh, I, I, I still don't know. You wouldn't with these energies here. 
Uh, but the energy of let's start over is present. So somebody brought that to the table. And because of that, it kind of increased the momentum in the mind. And the mind is like, yay, let's start playing here. And for some reason, it's kind of trying to take over. Um, let's do the Hierophant, the Justice card, the Two of Swords, the Page of Swords. Right. Yeah, very, uh, again, same, same kind of energy, confusion. Confusion and the I don't know. The I don't know is here. But it's here because you're here. You're here. You're not here. If you were to be at least in the middle of these two, you would know. You would know. You would get at least a little bit of sense of knowing. Let's do the Four of Swords in the immediate future. The Hangman, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Okay, great. You're working towards knowing. You're starting to build up in really crystal clear energies into the knowing because you're sinking back into yourself there. There's a, um, a healing energy that's coming through and I feel like you're, you're starting to go within. And that aligns you to, allows you to align those energies of the mind and of the heart. And you're stepping into the place of, okay, I know what to do. You know, whatever that is. I don't care what it is. It's just the energies around it. Let's do the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Wands. Uh, there's still a little bit of resistance in your way, in your own, your own resistance in your own way. Um, that's not allowing you to move as fast as probably you would want to. So I feel like you're getting clarity here about what it is that you want, which direction to go. Maybe give this another chance or maybe go out of it completely. You're gaining that clarity, whatever that is to you. And because you still carry a little bit of, mm, did I choose right? Did I, you know, that's your resistance because you, you have the clarity. I see that and you know that. But because there's a little bit of resistance, your path towards that action of whatever this is, it's going to take a while. So it looks like, you made up your mind, finally, even though your soul knew for a while, but finally you get to the point of clarity in the mind. And from that place, you're starting to go in a particular direction. But because there's still resistance to what you already know, you're making it slower, which is okay. You know, at least you're going somewhere. Okay, let's do the world card in the immediate future. The Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Fool. Interesting. Because these are beautiful energies and uh, I haven't seen them in this reading so far. In alignment. I've seen, in, I've, I've seen them in the intentions of you, of them, of whoever, uh, but never in alignment. I see that here. So this is telling me that this is what you're looking for. This might give me the answer of what direction you're choosing. Um, it seems like you've gained clarity, not only about what you want to do about this, but you're also gaining clarity about what it is that you're wishing for yourself in terms of love, in terms of equal give and take and in terms of something that you would go for in a split second, just like that. If you saw it, you knew it kind of a thing. And again, clarity is a big part of the immediate future energies. Um, so you are closing off a cycle here, finally, because I feel like this one that you're currently in, it's gonna feel like it's lasting forever, especially if the mind took over. A lot of the times it feels like, oh my God, I'm spinning in circles here forever and ever and ever. No, you're going to come out of it. Let's see what the universe has for you as a final advice. <clears throat> Page of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Cups. Uh, try as much as you can to connect with how you feel. Because right now the mind has taken over. 
and the universe is saying, you know, even though it feels like it's been like this for a while or it's gonna be like this forever kind of an energy, your heart is there waiting for you to connect to it. So try your best to do that. And I see you doing that again. The available energies for the immediate future are those of balance between the heart and the mind. So you're definitely having them available. You know, it's a matter of trying to get in touch with how you feel a little more, especially during this time, you know? So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.